Hey, it's Keith from Outlaw Speed Shop. In this episode, I'm going to try to take the wheels off of that and put them on this 8 crate from Hot Wheels Moon Eyes Edition. So, I had both these castings kicking around, and I kind of dig the Moon Eyes casting from, um, from Hot Wheels. And I wanted to do something a little bit different. And the whole point of a lot of these videos is, is just mainly to, um, A, just kind of stretch what I'm doing as far as just, I don't know, nothing bores me more as a builder um, than doing a wheel swap and painting. Um, I feel like I've been there and done that, so I'm always trying to do different things. And sometimes they're successful, sometimes they're not. Um, but... In this case, I wanted to do something a little bit different and nothing that was super hard, but just something that would allow me the flexibility to just kind of stretch my legs a little bit. And I love the wheels on these. I bought this um, casting with something similar in mind. I just wasn't sure what I was going to use to put them on. And, um, you know, just kind of one of those things that I figured I'd give it a try. And lately, my builds have been getting a little bit more complicated, and uh, I just wanted to, you know, chill out a little bit, I guess you could say. It was a busy week, um, and I'm going to probably talk through 90% of this, so you're just going to have to watch and kind of pay attention to what I'm doing. <laughs> um, last week, um, I ended up, I was working a lot, but <clears throat> I was able to take Sunday off and meet Jamie down at uh, in Rhode Island. Jamie from Devil's Details Diecast. It was a little get together and barbecue. If you watched uh, Jay from Jay's Diecast Creations channel, um, he was down there as well with his girl uh, Mario and his girl um, Jamie and Kim were were the hosts at the campground. It was just a it was a good time to get event. Scott Holland was there. It was mainly from the uh, Diecast Renegades and Hoodlums Facebook group uh, which was an offshoot of my outlaw speed shop page and just a really good group of guys there was only five of us um, plus the girls and it was just a it was just a good time to get away clear the head uh, talk a little shop and 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 have some fun so um, I usually use the weekends to get a lot of these customs done so um, even though Sunday was a loss when it came to customs it certainly was was great to finally meet some people and talk face to face and um, get away and get out of the house a little bit. So, so my goal here is to cut this in half. <laughs> um, I, I'm not a big fan of this casting and so far as what they did with the roof and everything. So, and I love wagons. It's just, I'm not a big fan of the, the, the engine being in the back and the, the clear, clear roof and all that. So, but I love the nose on this. So, I'm pretty much just going to cut the back off. The tape is just to kind of guide me uh, in my cutoff wheel. Um, but in order to make all this work, I have to do some some cutting and grinding and uh, fabricating to the actual interior or chassis. Well, it's not the chassis, but the interior. Uh, because the axles are much bigger on these wheels that I'm using, um, I can't use the slots provided, so I got to kind of make them a little bit bigger. And in order to do that, I had to grind away. Then once I kind of get those set, then the real thing is just to to start figuring out how stuff is going to fit and go together, and what else needs to be removed. So obviously, because I cut it behind the the doors, I need to cut the chassis because the way I'm doing it with the uh, six four wheels in the back, six wheels total. Um, Obviously, I have to remake a back half, and what came with the casting is useless to me. So I'm cutting it off pretty much even. You saw me mark it there. So that way I can I can grind and do whatever I need to do to make it fit. But no matter what, i got to at least get rid of the back half of the chassis. And I'll end up cutting the back half of the um, interior as well, uh, pretty much behind the, behind the seats but in front of the motor. So you can kind of see where I'm going with that. Obviously, if you saw the thumbnail, you know where I'm going anyways. But I get this uh, Warhammer tank that I've used on a lot of my builds. I didn't buy it to build it. I just bought it for the bits. And I guess that's an expensive 
pitch box, but um, I'm just pretty much going to take, what's funny is I just decided I was going to do like two motors and then I'm like, yeah, screw that. I've never built, built a jet car. <laughs> and the next one after this, the next video is a jet car. Uh, so uh, I guess things come in twos. Is that how it goes? <laughs> but I just grabbed a bunch of parts off of it and I just started figuring out how I was going to make them fit together to make some sort of faux uh, jet engine future. I don't even know. I mean, there's no theme to this. I just, <laughs> I, I put shit together. Uh, it, it's the best way I can explain it. Um, so sometimes it takes a little bit of filing, sanding, uh, just to kind of get things to, to work the way you want to, because the pieces really aren't designed to, to go together that I'm putting together. Um, but I just kind of like the, I went by texture. <laughs> I kind of liked the way uh, the, the Warhammer stuff is. And I just thought all together it would look really cool. I'm adding like a little brass tube there. Um, just a oof, 1 32nd K and S brass rod, I think it is, something like that. But I just like the texture aspect of it and all the different uh, nooks and crannies. I just thought it looked kind of cool. And when I put them all together, I thought it would make a good a good engine um, for, for a jet. Um, again, I'm making this up as I go along. There's no um correctness is i'm not i'm not trying to make this you know oh that's not a real jet engine yeah, and no shit <laughs> i'm just putting stuff together um just because i thought it looked kind of cool so in the end you guys will be the judge whether it actually is cool i'm on the fence i mean i like how it came out um it wasn't anything that i had high expectations for so it works out pretty good but ultimately i'm just adding stuff to give it some semblance of when you look at it yeah that's a jet engine and um, overall that's the end result that i think i achieved but you know again you guys will be the judge but back to my random uh randomness of talking um i did have a great time um at the excuse me at the barbecue with the guys and and getting to talk and see how i'm um, sorry and i totally tubed it on this uh, Mario was there as well from MSKM. Um, I think I said that. I don't know. I'm half in the bag when I'm doing these. But, you know, it's good to hear, you know, especially if you do videos. Uh, videos are challenging. There's a lot of work that goes into them. They're not easy to do. Um, when you're building, you have to remember to, to film everything. Where am I going to put the camera? I mean, I still throw footage away, even on this build, that I couldn't use. Um, just because it was just shit footage. So you just kind of, you know, and you're always trying to be different and do different things and, you know, push the envelope so it's not boring for people that watch. Because ultimately, just because I'm videoing it doesn't mean it's interesting. And let's be honest, we're customizing 164 scale cars. Um, it's very hard to make it interesting. And trust me, I'm trying. But to hear others in face-to-face -face talking you know, their obstacles or, you know, their challenges that they're finding. Um, sometimes it brings a little clarity to, to things. So, so you know, in the end, um, you know, and I've been hunting uh, feverishly, trying to find a way to make my videos better, more entertaining, um, short of pole dancing. I'm, I'm almost at a loss. You can see the mock-up right there, what I'm trying for. Um, so, you know, to talk to other people and, and find out I'm not alone, that's, that's always, that's always good. Cause it's a, it's a lonely life when you're a video editor, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's, it was, it was definitely a good time though. So here I'm just trying to mate up and strengthen up mating the original chassis to my handmade chassis. Um, and once again, I'm just kind of grinding out a little bit more of the interior to clear the 1 16th square tubing that I ended up using for the wheels. So, um, and keeping things rolling is always crucial, which is why I'm always, you always see me test that kind of stuff. I'm using solder. This is electrical solder and I find it very pliable. I'm using it just kind of make a, a, a an exhaust. The jets have exhaust. I don't know. Um, they must exhaust something somewhere. So, um, Again, it's not to scale. It's not 
real life it's a 164th car so i mixed the solder with some aluminum tubing those are going to be my exhaust tips that i put on and that's going to wrap around the motor and that'll be my 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 exhaust that i'm making for that now, i love the casting i love the the moon eyes decals i'm a, I'm a huge uh, moon fan but i decided to clear coat it anyways because i didn't want I just didn't like the matte finish for what I was doing. Um, so, you know, I did a lot of a lot of painting, a lot of detail work that you can't see. Um, one, because I'm not showing it, and B, because just like I said, I'm not picking it up with my camera. <laughs> so, um, I'm trying different camera angles and shit. So, it, it's a learning process for me. Again, I'm always trying to get better, but sometimes you go backwards. So. You know, this was just one of those castings that I, I just had a blast with because there was no expectations. I wasn't even sure up until today when I'm editing that I'm actually going to use this video. Because there's a lot, of, let's be honest, there's a lot of videos I don't post. Um, I'll build something and either I don't like the way it came out or um, it ends up against the wall and I just don't show them. So. Uh, you know, this was one of those where I had zero expectations, um, but I had fun, and that's what it's all about. When you start to not have fun doing this, it's time to walk away and take a break, and I've been close to that a couple times, and um, once in a while, like this one in the next video I'm doing, which I did the turboned charge, turboned charge, I don't know, it's a horrible casting. Um, I did as a challenge to myself to see if I could take something that sucked and either make it suck less or suck more. So um, that'll be next. I already finished it. I just got to do the uh, edit on the video. So and once again, that's a jet powered as well. So and if you'll notice, if you pay close attention, there is a moon tank there, um, obviously, because it's a moon vehicle. And I also did a little bit of detail on the interior. If you like the content, make sure you like this video and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified of all future videos. Not sure if you guys are aware, but I do have an Outlaw Custom Club YouTube membership uh, with special benefits. Uh, some members only content like website discounts to customs that I have for sale, behind the scenes videos, progress pictures and content, so on and so forth. Make sure you check it out. So these are the two castings I started with, one for the wheels and one for the actual body and chassis itself. And um, I might still do something with the uh, with the red one, but I'm not sure. Um, now that it doesn't have wheels, it's just not that cool anymore. <laughs> but sacrifices had to be made. So this is what you're looking at. Um, I've got some video and pictures. Um, again, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea. I know it's not real, <laughs> but... Uh, Again, we're dealing with 164 scale cars, imagination and customizing. And hopefully it gives you an idea to do something similar with something different or do something better, whatever. Um, either way, I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, let me know your thoughts, good, bad, and different, down in the comments below. And I will catch you on the next one.